People of Reddit who have lived a double life. How did you get there and what happened? I have a name that's unpronounceable to most Americans. In elementary school instead of listening to them mangle my name. I decided to choose a random English name to go by while in the states. Quite a lot of foreigners do this. A year came and went. And now I was in a new class with new teachers and new classmates. I decided on a whim to choose a different name to go by that year. I've been doing it every time I'm in a new social circle since then. I can tell when and where I met someone by what they call me. Yeah. My friend was telling me about how his friend is an English teacher in China and one of the first exercises is to pick an English name. Being that often the parents don't speak English and the kids barely do they often flip through an English dictionary and choose a word that sounds nice to them. One time he spent a couple of hours trying to explain why he felt that a boy in his class probably shouldn't go by butterfly. Eventually he just gave up. And taught butterfly the joys of English. I'm English. But have spent much of my youth in the US. And live here now with a green card. When I worked retail. I adopted an American accent. Because it's more efficient than having to explain to everyone that I'm English and moved here when I was 14 etc etc. It was just more efficient. This continued into office jobs until we were in a meeting with some English clients. Who spoke first? I immediately went English. My boss looks at me for second. Stops the meeting and says are you having a stroke? Then I had to explain and we wasted half an hour. Sigh. About 14 years ago after I just graduated college I got a job teaching at a middle school but I was still DJing nights at an goth industrial nightclub. Teacher by day. Riveted DJ by night. That's about as double life as I have ever been. It didn't last though. I was having a hard time staying alert and awake at school. So I gave up the teaching. My buddies Jim and Max and I went out on this epic bike trip. 1500 miles around VT and main and stuff. We're at a bar in Burlington. And my buddy Jim becomes the Canadian. He came up with it a month prior. He pretends he's from Montreal and only speaks French. But he has enough broken English to get by. So he'll chain together nonsense and tiny phrases in a French Canadian accent. Kids love it. Anyways. We're at a bar. And Jim is bumbling out I am. From. Canada. Montreal. Quebec and a French Canadian turns around at the table next to us. You are from Montreal? Bourgeau. Speaks several French sentences. It was incredibly funny watching him fess up. The actual Canadian was legitimately confused for a beat because his English wasn't so good. We actually ended up drinking with that Canadian doodle night. In high school. I was the, the quiet nerdy guy. Glasses. Shaggy hair. Always had a book in my hands. And then I went home I would change clothes. Put in contacts. Grab my equipment. It was by night one of the major players in the DJ scene where I lived. It was at the point I would run into people from school and they wouldn't recognize me. Both were my real life. And both were who I really love to be. Each in their respective venues. I work in Midtown Manhattan for a luxury fashion company. I am homeless. I shower at the gym and then go back to the office and sleep. Only the cleaning lady knows I am there so late. The security guards think I am a workaholic. I make okay money. By day. Cheerful and helpful retail employee. By night. Dominatrix. Sometimes in the day. Two. By day. Cheerful and sweet science teacher. By night. Kinky erotic fiction writer of such work safe topics as BDSM. Fisting and pegging. Hey. I know it's not having a whole other family or anything but I'd be screwed if work found out. I don't know if this actually counts but I act like a completely different person with each group of friends I have. My best friend's boyfriend is literally a bastard. And has two older brothers. Their father is married to another woman with three more children and they have no idea about this family. His dad visits them every so often and gives them money. Well actually my name is Gary. 
On my first day Ron called me Jerry and I didn't want to correct him. Good guy OP. Reading every post. I asked the question. I think it's only polite. Thanks. I'm a janitor by trade and no one knows my real name. I've pretended to be a dim-witted German named Klaus and, and a simple-minded stutterer named Ephraim. Once I tried to convince people I had a twin brother. That was a charade that ultimately failed and people saw right through it. Well I have read it me. And me. In Japan. Heart surgeon. Number 1. Steady hand. One day. You accuse a boss need new heart. I do operation. Beauty's mistake. You accuse a boss die. You accuse a very mad. I hide in fishing boat. Come to America. No English. No food. No money. Daryl give me job. Oh I have house. American car. And new woman. Daryl. Save. Life. My big secret. I kill your accuser boss on purpose. I good surgeon. This would be so much better if it was marked. Serious. In high school, this one is only okay. I was an okay student who did a bunch of nerdy stuff. I play the French horn. I won a pretty significant statewide artistic award. I read The Economist. I also was a ridiculous alcoholic drug addict who would take trips to Seattle on the weekend to smoke pot, drop acid, eat ecstasy, and snort cocaine and party with ballerinas. I also sold weed, mushrooms, LSD, and ecstasy, though mainly just pot. Woohoo. Me and my party buddy even got into a high speed chase with the police. Among other car related incidents. God my party buddy was a bad driver. Side note. I am no longer a drug addict. Still a high flyer in every other way. Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Thanks. Bean. Throw away here. I have a wife and 5 year old child in another country. I send money home and speak to my daughter every 2 weeks. I have a significant other and a 6 month old where I currently live. Major throwaway account. I have a wife and two teenage kids and 200 miles away I have a long term girlfriend and two toddlers. I have a job that pays me more than either know about. I support both families but both mothers work and the girlfriend takes care of the medical with those kids. My work legitimately has me travel all over the area a lot and I have been balancing this for almost 5 years. Edit. Yes. Reddit I know. I am a P. O. S. And I should die. Additionally. I know I am setting my kids up for major trust issues. Try not to get so worked up about my life, or lives as it may be, and worry more about your own. I will continue to love my kids even if they choose to hate me and wish painful death on me one day. I will continue to be as good as a father as possible given my situation. I will continue to live my life and maybe one day I'll come back with a this is how it ended story. Well. There was a support group for men with testicular cancer. The big moosey slobbering all over me was Bob. Bob had bitch tits. Wait. Back up. Let me start earlier. My college friends are the only ones who know about my 4 years run of cocaine and loose women. As far as my friends from home know. I'm a drug free hopeless romantic. I have a girlfriend of 3 years plus. I recently bought a flashlight behind her back and I enjoy it more.